keep your, the, the rumors swirled down here quite a bit. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's like a guy down here that might want the job. I yeah. mean, I, I look, it's very obvious that somebody in Brian Kelly's camp is floating his name. Or Michigan's camp. Because there is... I, I don't I don't understand why why Michigan would in the sense of if you know who your guy is, which it feels like Sharon Moore would be the odds on favorite if the job opened up. Why Brian Kelly would make sense to me? I, I I feel as if somebody on Kelly's side is floating his name for whatever reason. I, I I'm not sure what whatever reason that would be. Whether it's for for leverage and I mean we've seen this done for contract stability. Um, I don't know how much more stable Kelly's contract is going to come in two years. But I mean, but, I mean you know, I mean, we we've seen these guys get raises somehow, like second and third year on these decade long contracts. I, I would have to see it to believe it. If Michigan was interested in Kelly, like I mean, and that is not to say that Kelly has not done some really tremendous stuff in Baton Rouge. I mean, he's he's almost rebuilt the culture. He's rebuilt the roster. And he set the program in the direction that he was brought aboard to to stabilize it and and you know produce. I just don't know how much he makes sense at Michigan right now. I mean, I know that he's he's coached up there. He's you know he, he coached at was it Grand Prairie in Michigan? He coached at, or Central Michigan? Coaches, yeah, Central Michigan. Central Michigan. Um, but I mean, he's very familiar with that part of the country. I just, I would have to see it to believe it that that Michigan would be interested in Kelly. It's very evident that someone within Kelly's camp is pushing his name, and whether he's truly got interest or not, I, I don't know if we'll ever find out if he doesn't get the job. But somehow, some way, I mean, like it's not just happening at a local level. I mean, Bruce right. Feldman has talked about it. There are people nationally that have brought Kelly's name up because of his name, like, surfacing. You know, like, that Brian Kelly would be very interested in the Michigan job if it was to open up. Like, that didn't just come out of thin air. I mean, somebody somewhere is either starting that or... Feeding that information to... There might be legitimacy to you know to it. I mean, right. There, there could be. But, I mean, we've seen how these these negotiations and these coaching openings and these... The, these things work, right? I mean, whether it's Norvell getting an extension at Florida State, whether it's Sarkeesian getting more money in Austin, I mean, or Kalen DeBoer getting the Alabama job. You know, Dan Lanning using it as, Dan Lanning used it as a, as a recruiting piece. I mean, he, he took the, the Alabama interest in him and what everybody believed. I mean, there were reports that he was in Tuscaloosa on the day that, that, that Saban retired. Saban retired at like lunch. They had they had Lanning in Tuscaloosa at four. So I mean, you know, I mean Lanning like turned around and used it as a recruiting ploy. And from all the like this this Brian Kelly trends on Twitter quite a bit whenever this kind of Michigan thing comes up. And the funniest thing about it is all of the Michigan contingency is like, no, they don't want Brian, Brian Kelly. Kelly to come right. coach their football team, which I think is kind of uh I guess eye-opening in a sense of you would think that if you could get the winningest current football coach of all t- what of all time, yeah, you'd think that you want to take active winning it. Yes, that you would kind of be interested in that. But everything around him was just like it's kind of I guess the outside persona of what Brian Kelly is to people. If you don't have him on your campus or see him operate. But what you see from like a 10,000 foot view is kind of what we all thought Brian Kelly was like until you got him here. And it seems like he's not as uptight as he is portrayed to be when you don't have him on your campus. Yeah, without question. Because everybody's like, Brian Kelly, no. It's like, well, they're doing a pretty good job at LSU. Back to back 10 win seasons on a roster that had nothing. And the other thing that would make it surprising is the most obvious thing is that he's built the staff that he's built here. Like, why would you do all of this work and bring in all of these top tier coaches? If you're not going to be on the staff, that's that. That's what really. I'm. You know. I mean. You look at it. And you're like, why would you hire Bo Davis and Brad like and bring back Corey Raymond and all of these moves that you made that seem to be beneficial to your staff? Go hire a new defensive coordinator if you were going to make a 
a move to Michigan where you would probably want some of these coaches on your staff. Well, and on the flip side, why would they commit come to LSU? There right. has there. I mean, you would have to believe that internally people would be asking questions before you right. accept a job. And there is a rumor out there, and, and that doesn't necessarily mean that that it's you know it's not going to happen. But I got to imagine that you know people have said before I sign this contract. I mean, you're going to be here, right? You know, I mean, and the security must have been there for for at least some of these guys to sign on and saying that they want to be here. Um, I mean, especially a guy like Bo Davis who has a great job in Austin. Okay. Why would he? I mean, I didn't know there was a pay raise, but right, leave the security there to take a job where you were just in the college football playoff, right? You know, then, what was he making at at Texas? I don't know. The exact I think it was like one, one three, one one two five, and yeah. then LSU went to one five, something like that. You know, I mean, like, yeah, I, 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 I know mean, what you're like, gonna I, say. I mean, like, I look. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money to a lot of people. I mean, and and to me, I mean, like, I mean, there's a lot that makes a to anybody. I mean, that that's a lot. I'd of rather money. have it than not. Absolutely. You know, I mean, if if we're we're negotiating a million two and a million five in comparison of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Austin, Texas, I'd sacrifice the two fifty and stay in Austin if it meant that much. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like no state it's tax. the lifestyle, the city, the options, the restaurants, the entertainment. I mean, you're getting a, I mean, you're getting much, you know, a much more affluent city, right? Than than than, than Baton Rouge, and I, I mean, it's just it's how it is. And you know, for Bo Davis, I mean, I'm sure the money did mean a lot. I can't imagine that you know that that was the the right. the siding the you know the siding factor that this is going to happen now well, because that wouldn't, you, that wouldn't cancel out the potential jeopardy of if something were to happen with Kelly he wouldn't be like well I'll take that risk just for this extra two hundred fifty exactly you know? yeah yeah um you know I mean when, when you're talking about a hundred billion dollar contracts yeah I mean at what point does the I mean the money become at some point right you know it becomes Negligible. Almost a secondary, yeah. I mean, it's like, all right, like the money's not the issue. Like, right. Wherever you go, you're going to get the money. What's the experience? What's the best place to win? And, you know, I mean, this may sound, uh, you know, I mean, in the moment, I mean, Michigan's the national champ. Michigan's the national champ, I think, with Jim Harbaugh, right? Ultimately, I think you've got a better opportunity to win more at LSU than you would at Michigan in, in comparison's sake. They may be on the same plane of a job, right? When you talk about Michigan and LSU. And, and I would just say that I would believe that LSU would give you a better chance to win more consistently. Maybe the other side could debate and argue on why Michigan would be a better job in that, that aspect. I, I, I would put my chips on LSU side when you're talking about just in comparison of LSU to the Michigan head coaching gig that LSU would would would, would have a, a advantage. I mean, the resources of recruiting grounds, the commitment a, as far as the, the the paying of the 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 players, the coaches. Uh, I mean, you look at like salaries of assistants. I mean. Scott Woodward has given you every resource available to How win. much does Jesse Minter make? You know, I mean, what would be Michigan's top assistant? What's his what's his salary? I mean, when you got the defensive line coach making a million five, I mean, there's an obvious commitment of paying assistance and building a top staff.